All right, dudes, Um, you know what we're doing today by the title of the thumbnail. Yeah, we're making a turtle pond out of a, a wheelbarrow. That's right. And here's the deal. Why am I doing this? Now, I'm not doing this permanently. I'm doing this for vid video purposes. Switch it up and to not be generic. So that's what we're doing today. Now, this is something that you can obviously do, Um, but what I recommended, uh, I don't really know about that. But if you just really wanted to, you could certainly do it. Brandon got the fish picture in last video correct. This is the fish picture for this video. Be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish. If your comment is pinned, then you're going to shout out on the next video. So this is the wheelbarrow right here. Now, before you go disliking and all that because of the rust and all that that's in there, I'm going to be putting a liner inside of it. I'm going to, of course, clean it off. It's got dirt all over it. But I'm going to put the liner in there so that way you know the water is not, like, contaminated or nothing like that. Obviously, I'm not doing this for, like, a real thing. I'm just doing it for, you know, the video. You can see how it's kind of at a slope. See how it kind of goes, like, right into that, that pit right there. I'm not even going to put a rock in here. This is just going to be where they come up and kind of bask right here. And then, of course, you know, they swim around right down there. So I'm going to get this liner washed off, get it in there, and uh, start, you know, making this thing. All right, so there it is right there. Got the liner inside of the wheelbarrow now. Uh, pretty much cleaned it out. Didn't really like scrub it or nothing like that, but we got most of the dirt off of it. So now what I'm start doing is actually putting some sand in the bottom of it and then also a few little small pieces of gravel. So I got this leftover sand right here from like other tanks and stuff. So I think I'll just pour, you know, we'll just pour it all in there, why not? And then I've got some of these rocks right here. I'm not gonna put all of them in here, but I'm just gonna kinda, you know, spread them out through here. All right, so we got that kind of spread it out. Now I'm gonna add some plants in right here. We're gonna put this orange one. Just kind of like that, and uh, I'll just put this one right up here. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I might add a few more things now. They're like, I think I might add a piece of wood or something. All right, so I got this piece of wood right here. Uh, we'll just put it, I don't know, we'll put it something like that maybe. And uh, hmm, where should I put this? I don't know, put it like right here. All right, looks pretty good. Now, just for the video, I'm not gonna put a filter in here, but if you really wanted to do this, you could put like, you know, one of the 10 to 20 gallon, like, Repsy filters like this right here. Just for the video, I'm not gonna do that. So now what we're gonna do, uh, I think I'm gonna go and fill it up now and uh, go and just put one of the small turtles in here. Now, I'm not just gonna like put, you know, faucet water or anything like that in there. I am gonna take actually, you know, like really good water that they're used to living in. Now I'm about to do a water change on that, so it's totally fine that I take water out of it, but, gonna dump this in now I think I'm gonna dig this out just a little bit more make it look a little bit better but it's messing up the sand a little bit that's fine though all right and there we go so add a little bit more and I should be good to go all right dudes there it is right there uh, you know what this actually reminds me of when I was just like smoothing up the sand you know those like wave pools at like water parks and stuff? That's what it looks like. You know, we like just going in and it like gets deeper and deeper. Like that's actually what it looks like. You know how they have the waves pushing out over there? Like this, this sounds stupid, but I'm just telling you like what this actually kind of looks like. Anyways, that was kind of off topic, but now we're gonna go and grab our turtle in here. Uh, we're gonna look for the smallest one. All right, so I got this little dude right here. Uh, pretty much the smallest one I could find. A little, little yellow belly. So uh, I'm just gonna put that guy right here on the beach and uh, he's gonna go storming in. Oh, oh, I get him. Now, of course, I would never put one in here this size, but if you were going to put it in here, like, in a wheelbarrow this size, just make sure it's a really, really tiny turtle, but I really would not recommend it. Honestly, you can make this thing look really, really good. Like, you can really deck it out, you know, make it look really nice and all that. You, like, have this out in your yard and, like, let plants grow up all around it and everything and make it look, like, really, really natural and just have, you know, itty-bitty baby turtles in there and just kind of, you know, raise them up in there. Now, like I said, I'm not doing this for real, but if you really wanted to do this, you really actually could. Like, like I said, you could make this thing look really, really nice. As long as you did everything right, only put, you know, little bitty tiny turtles in there, maybe only one or two, just kind of raise them up in here, got them a few inches, and, uh, took them out, then I think it would be okay. And of course, had a filter, but, you know, like I said, this is just for this video. Yeah, you can see them right down there, kind of hanging out up underneath that orange plant right there. But this guy's, of course, you know, too big to stay in here anyways. So I'm not going to go ahead and take this guy right back out of here and go ahead and uh, put him right back on in here. Now, this is one of the ones that's been getting really used to me lately. Wild well, caught this guy not too long ago, actually. But that right there is the wheelbarrow turtle pond. Obviously, like I said, something you could do. I'm about to take this all down right now, though. But if you do it, just make sure you do it all right. Check out the right you can. We got right down there in the last video. You can see one of the turtles coming up right there and all the other goldfish are doing great in here. But this right here is where the pond is going to be built at pretty darn soon within the next few videos or so we'll be building this pond as you can see i've already got it laid out and everything the waterfall is going to be kind of like right up there but uh yeah this is where we're officially going to be building the pond at oh look at the core right there look at him 
pond's really, really dark right now because we put that blue dye stuff in here. Soft shell turtle tank looking good. Going to get the soft shells pretty soon for this. You see the creek chubs in there? I might actually move these guys over there in the goldfish uh, slash turtle pond. And I might put some other type of fish in here along with the soft shells. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the soft shells pretty darn soon. Fire belly toe tank is looking good, of course. I think I'm actually getting those, those guys this weekend. I actually special ordered them to the pet store last weekend, so we'll see if they come in. I've been trying for a few weeks now. They haven't been able to get them, so we'll see if they got them this week. But yeah, it's looking good. I got a, just a tad bit more water, and uh, like I said, if you have any ideas for the land area over there, uh, let me know in the comments below. But if you're wondering, those are some live plants right there that I actually did get out of my pond. So the La Lupe cichlids have been doing great in here. You can see one of them actually coming out right there. Their colors are starting to really come out now. They've been eating great and all that. Me getting a lot more use to me now. Uh, the other one's back there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Nope, that one's a little bit smaller than the other guy, but they're about the same size. But yeah, they're doing great. You can see the color on that one really coming out. They're just some amazing looking fish, but uh, yeah, they're been, they've just been doing great in this tank. Chungas, of course, always looking great and always, always, oh, oh, we got me that time. Always wanting some food. I'm gonna start opening the water changes on this tank, uh, just to, you know, keep everything really clean and all that. And most of the time, I do do it once a week, but I'm gonna start doing doing it maybe a little bit more often, like maybe every five days or so instead of every seven days, but just taking less out. But yeah, it's just mainly because he eats a lot, and of course, when a fish eats a lot, they produce a lot of waste. So yeah, gotta keep them nitrates down. All the sicklers are looking good. I actually gotta add some water to this tank, but uh, yeah, they're all looking great. The OBs right there, the Snow White, the Dragon Blood. And the sunshine and the albano you can see one of the calico plicos right there and uh yeah that tank is doing great we're going to be getting some more sickness for this pretty soon i'd say all these fish over here are looking great all the tetras and the two electric blue jack dempsies look at those guys the colors really really do come out with the sunlight but uh yeah the flag tank instead of putting an african butterfly fish in here I decided I might just put a baby peacock bass in here since they're a lot easier to get than, you know, the five, six inch size that I'm trying to get for the pool pond out there. So I could just get one that size and raise them up in here, get them a few inches, and then I'll move them out there in the pool pond. So that's what I might do instead of putting a butterfly fish in there. The Kerbenzis over here, uh, yeah, so here's the deal. I thought they had laid eggs because when I came out here and I was really looking and I thought I saw some eggs right down in there. Well. Yesterday, I decided to go in there and just really gently, lightly kind of move that rock. Uh, none of the gravel fell down or nothing like that. They really dug it out really well, but there were no eggs and there were no babies. And I really did some well looking around the tank, and um, I didn't see any. So, yeah, I don't know it, what they got going on. Like I said, I thought I saw some eggs, but there weren't any when I looked. So, I don't know. I'm just going to let them do their thing in here, and, uh, yeah, we'll see if we get any breeding action out of these guys uh, anytime soon. This tank is looking great. All the fish in here are doing great, and... Uh, the filament toes barbs, yeah, these guys are really, really used to me now. Like, when I first got these guys, I thought they were going to be really skittish of me and all that, because they would always stay darting around in the tank anytime, like, someone would walk by. But now, they're, like, really, really used to me. Like, it just took them a little bit of time to get used to me, feed them and all that. Like, look at this. Like, they just come straight up to me now. And the same thing with the Congo Tetra as well. But, yeah, look at the parrots right there, and uh, look at the big dojo. Now, you guys actually do not know that I also have a guinea pig. Well, he's not really my guinea pig, but uh, he's kind of like my sister. He's kind of like all of ours, basically. But, yeah, I just thought I'd put him on the camera just because I've actually never shown him before. But, uh, yeah, he's a he's a pretty cool little dude. Try to get him out, you know, occasionally and stuff like that because um, he generally does like getting out of his cage, you know. That is pretty much it for now. We made a wheelbarrow turtle pond. Now, like I said, it's not the thing that I'm keeping, but it is something that you can do. As long as you do it right and you know don't put a whole bunch of turtles in there and don't put them in there when they're too big to go in there only put them in there if they're itty bitty maybe only one or two but yeah you could really deck that thing out put it out in your yard and uh you know really put some plants all around it and it can look really really good that's pretty much it for now though be sure to drop a like on the video hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and uh with that being said you guys will catch you on the next video peace